since the beginning of time, networking has been essential with building relationships, and um, it really kind of involved, uh, you know, to promote businesses. But at the end of the day, it's 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 really simple. It's just building relationships. It's talking to people. It's communicating. My goal today is to take that scare tactic out of networking because you keep hearing it over and over again. You have to network, you have to network, get out, go to networking events. And you know, we're gonna talk about your fears with that or we're gonna address that. But at the end of the day, it's really just building relationships. <clears throat> I need everybody to understand that networking needs to be a mutual thing. You can't go into it just thinking, what's in it for me? Because a networking relationship needs to last. Okay, so you need to go into it with a plan, as Shelly said, and we're going to get into that a little bit further. But you need to understand that it's for mutual assistance or mutual support. This is how we decided to define networking. It's the opportunity to interact or engage in informal communication with others for mutual assistance. If you are just going in trying to see what you can get out of it, you're going to put more pressure on yourself. When you can provide assistance to somebody else, that's where that benefit is going to be there, and that's, going to help, that's what's going to help maintain that relationship. So if you think about sales in one particular way, you're going to shy away from it. Networking is selling, but it's selling by creating that relationship and fulfilling a mutual need. Does that make sense? Okay. <clears throat> Let's talk about fear of rejection. That kind of goes along with what I just spoke about. If you think about it in a certain way and you put all that pressure on yourself, you're not going to do it. You're afraid your pitch is going to be denied. Ask about them. Who doesn't mind talking about themselves? Raise your hand. You're not all getting tickets, but let's just admit to it. You could ask me all about me, my, my career, my family. I love talking about myself. It makes me feel good. It should make you guys feel good, too. Now, if you don't sell yourself, who's going who's gonna to do it? Do you want other people trying to describe who you are? Do you want other people representing you? What is your brand? What do people think of you? You need to start representing this and networking what you want your brand to be. This way, if they do have to speak on your behalf, make sure that it's good. You never know where your next job can come from. Maybe there's an individual from a company there that has a different title or an industry that you never saw yourself working in. They may know somebody that they can connect you to. Don't ever assume that every, everybody there is not important. Again, that's the purpose of networking, branching out, meeting new people.